Hi and welcome to Euro Naval 2018. If you are not familiar with the event, well you should. It is the largest naval defense exhibition in the world and probably one of the oldest as well. The event celebrates this year its 50th anniversary. 470 exhibitors from 34 countries are showcasing their latest naval defense exhibitions this week. And this is exactly what we'll be focusing on on our day one video. Latest naval innovations being showcased for the first time. But first, we are fortunate to have a few words with the Chief of Staff of the French Navy, Admiral Prazuc. Admiral, welcome to uh, Euronaval. Why is this event so important for you and for the Marine Nationale? Well, it's important because it's the occasion for me to meet many counterparts from all around the world and exchange ideas and experiences. It's important for me also to show the public and the industry what we are able to do. We are able to do above land, on the sea surface, under the sea surface, and mainly and for the first time in Euronaval, the people, the people of the Navy, how we are forming them how they are training, how they are living uh, at sea, and, and especially how we can link all this training process with civilian universities, civilian schools, in order to have a, a common trunk, a common effort uh, in the direction of uh, the young people in France. Admiral, thank you very much, and uh, have a good Euronaval. Thank you very much to you. New turret in partnership with, between uh, Thales and Dexter is in, uh, it's due to counter new threats uh, for uh, both navy and armies. This turret, in fact, will use several bricks, bricks from the Jaguar program and the experience and knowledge of Thales about the anti-aerial application. Thales is uh, more in charge of the integration of the system with a uh, great experience in the anti-air threat systems. In fact, next year, we'll reuse the bricks of the Jaguar program in this, uh, in this new turret, and in particular, with this new cannon, the Forticitier cannon. This new solution, uh, Rapid Fire, is a, a multi-world artillery system uh, for air threats as well for surface threats, or land, in the ground environment, and with a new ammunition for the, the complete system. And in fact, the advantage to reuse uh, the Jaguar uh, program, bricks from the Jaguar program, in fact, we will have a very, very famous uh, new cannon with a very low dispersion, with a high accuracy or precision of this cannon. And the advantage, it will be possible to reduce the number of wounds per engagement. With, at the end, a very small and compact uh, turret, very easy to integrate. And we will keep this capacity to engage all sorts of targets on the surface, plus the anti-aerial application, with a large range of ammunition. Yeah, as we reuse the ones of the Jaguar programs, plus an additional one we were developing. Another advantage of this approach, in fact, we will reuse the qualification of the ammunition on the cannon. Because this cannon was qualified by French and UK standards, the last generation of standard and that is why for the for the naval application it will be very easy for us to finish this qualification because uh, for just an example we will have the French qualification already uh, for the naval application. So here at Yernaval, I want to showcase our uh, new generation of the RBS-15 anti-ship missile. This is the uh, fourth generation, the Mark IV, and his name is Gungnir. Gungnir is the uh, it's from Norse mythology. It's Odin's enchanted spear that never missed its target. It was perfectly balanced and could be thrown by anyone. And we want to put the power of Odin's spear into the naval warfare operators. And I would say we have uh, a robust all-weather performance of the missile. 
It has a very long range, so the best combination of warhead and range, and a very low sea skimming flight. Uh, with the new generation, what we're doing is we're greatly improving the range, uh, we're greatly improving the electronic uh, warfare protection systems, and more or less redesigning everything internally in the missile. So it's the same outer dimensions, but every subsystem has been uh, redesigned from the ground up to offer next generation capabilities uh, to the warfighter. So the range is more than 300 kilometers. We still have a, around 200 kilogram uh, warhead, which is optimized to destroy ships. It has an anti-ship, but also a land attack capability and an anti-jam GPS. And uh, it can be launched both from uh, air and surface platforms. Today the main innovation is the Muren. So the Muren is a new uh, subsea light vehicle. It has been totally designed by Alcimar. Uh, we are about 100 people and we are all focusing on subsea equipment, not only for the defense and security, but mainly. Uh, perhaps you know that on the market there is still some equivalent of, of system. Uh, for this one there is three main uh, uh, difference. The first one is the ergonomy. So you know that these vehicles are used by divers, by uh, combat divers, from a point to, from a submarine, from a boat to a target. And the objective is that when they arrive on the target, they have to be ready to make their oper operation. So we work a lot with Ergonom, with former divers, in order to be sure that the, the vehicle will be very easy to be, to be used. This is the first point. Uh, the second point is the navigation system because we develop a specific one with INS, DVL, GPS, of course, and a small sonar. So the accuracy of the system is very high. And the third point is that this vehicle can be deployed from a submarine uh, through the torpedo tube. So this is the three main uh, advantage comparing to other competitors. This new system is uh, Athena Mark II, is the second version of uh, our combat management system to be installed on all the new ships for the Italian Navy. So PPA, LHD and LSS that we are now uh, producing with Fincantieri in, uh, in Italy. This new system now is based on a, a complete uh, revisiting for the human interface, so for the, it's easier for operator to interact with the with the systems is more natural and all the hardware now is based on carbon fiber consoles all the electronics is remote so it's easier to maintain the system without interfering with the normal operation in the bridge on the in the coc the benefit is is that in the easier way to interact with the system is quicker is uh, there is no more uh, menu and sub menu in which you have to look for uh, the functionality that you need at that moment. All the consoles are still, like in the past, completely multifunctional. So all the operators can made uh, can interact with all the systems, can control all the systems from each console. So. in the naval business is the amphibious craft. We have indeed developed a very innovative design of uh, amphibious vessel and as you can see on the picture the main uh, uh, target is to unload armored vehicle on the beach with a vessel that can combine the high speed on the sea and a very low draft when reaching the beach. During this uh, edition of Euronaval, we are very proud to present our two new types of vessel, again in the world of amphibious vessel. First is uh, LCA, this is the Landing Craft Assault. This vessel is dedicated again to do the mission of transportation of armor vehicle from the uh, LHD to the beach, but with a very low uh, impact on the size inside the well deck of the, of the LHD. Second, very new concept is the LCX, Landing Craft Mission. 
This one is dedicated to be the Swiss knife of uh, the Navy. When a Navy has uh, LHD, it's very interesting to have the capability of projection of ma many, many uh, different missions from the LHD all around and being able to uh, have a kind of Navy-based export abroad in, in, on the theater. And that, that vessel is a high-speed one, has the capability to cross waves in a high sea state, but also has the capability to reach the beach with very low draft and will be uh, efficient for unloading armored vehicle, but also for uh, anti-submarine warfare, uh, mine hunting, and also special forces operations.